straight from the minds of some goofy college students, it's time for witticism after hours. We hope you enjoy the show. Hello everybody, my name is Nick McEwen and welcome to Witticism After Hours, one of the late night shows of all time. Now, we may be the newest late night show on the block, but don't worry, we have plenty of interesting bits coming your way. Tonight, we're going to be doing a skit or two, have an interview with a special guest, and even play a fun game with the rest of the Wit crew. So buckle up and get ready. My mind's just been blank lately, you know, like, it's like I've got some sort of bottomless pit for a brain. I get what you mean. My ex had a bottomless pit for a heart, too. <sighs> Kissing her was like being sucked by the world's most beautiful vacuum. As someone without a bottomless pit for a brain, I can't help but feel like we're missing something. Like some pieces of like the writing puzzle that just can't be found. I don't know, we, we've practically got everything we need to get started on this script. Paper, pencils, Noah. Maybe we should do a real puzzle. I've, I've got puzzles, I've got plenty of puzzles. Uh, cat puzzles, dog puzzles, abnormally large puzzles that you can't fit through doors and will melt in the sun. How would we make that into a bit? Maybe we can add some sort of uh, sense of urgency to finishing the puzzles, you know what I mean? I've already done all my puzzles. Oh. And glued and framed them. You're, you're special to me, okay? You'd have to find something else, not my puzzles. That's right. So, why did you bring it up then? Oh, well, I just wanted you to know what it was all about. Okay, okay well, maybe we can make some sort of um, puzzle challenge. Like, uh, I'll go to Walmart and scope things out, maybe get like a children's puzzle, and, and if somebody doesn't finish it in time... We slime them! Do you have slime? Well, okay, well, see, I have I have this thing, and, uh, mm, uh actually, no, forget I said anything? No, it's not. Uh, I think puzzles are boring, so, uh, I mean, why would you say more of action-packed? Like what? Okay, do you guys remember last summer, okay, when we played, uh, we played Ultimate Duck Duck, Duck Goose, okay, right before finals? I don't know if that can be shown on television. Well, it was so funny. We could do something similar. Uh, be serious here. Is there anything we haven't done so far that you think people would want to see? A beach episode. Oh yeah, that would be cool. There's nothing more action-packed than having a nip on camera. Right, um, I see what you're going for. Yeah. We just have to find people who would want to be part of it. Okay, that, that would clearly not work. Nothing works. There's always something wrong, something missing. I'm thinking maybe we make a, a mini a mini documentary. We already did that, remember? Right, okay, yeah. Well, what if we, um, what if we do a, like a, a musical presentation? We did that too. Ooh. So what? We're just not going to have anything to film? That's not in the spirit of witticism. We're always coming up with stuff, even if it's painfully last minute. How many jokes can you make until you run out of jokes? Th that's it. We'll make something so devoid of jokes that it becomes a joke in itself. What do you mean? Like, um, like, like a symbol or something without 
any funny business whatsoever, but like it, it gets funny that way. Do you know what I mean? I see what you're saying. Like, media. Yes, it, exactly. Like media. All right. Well, let's do it then. All right. Wasn't that fun? Coming up next, we're going to have a nice interview with our station manager, Meg, on a plethora of things. Hope you enjoy. All right. So, Meg, what do you want to talk about? Oh my God, what do we want to talk about? Um, I'm not even going to like. I'm not even going to like do an intro to this. This is fully going to yeah. just be cut in here, starting from like this moment. Yeah, yeah. Like I this is just where we're just going to start talking. What's going on? Um, it's been. Uh, I woke up today at like. 10 30 10 45. that's crazy but get this that's crazy i had a class at 11. do you know what that is what is it that's crazy <laughs> oh my god really i could you have such a way with words it's insane yes or no um i'm gonna go yes Holy oh my god shit, that's yes. awesome <laughs> i can't believe it i'm gonna play tag at full volume <laughs> You're just gonna play Peggle on your yeah, phone? Yeah, um... I'll also play Peg Peggle on my phone. Yeah, fun little fact about Nick and I. We're obsessed with Peggle right now. Um... Who wouldn't be? So this is all we've been doing for like the past few days. <laughs> this is obnoxiously loud. <laughs> it, it's so good. Hypothetical, could you beat a coyote in a fight? Um, I don't think so. I think I get scared. Like you, come on. It's a I, coyote. I'm scared of what anything do they faster do? than me. I think you could outrun a coyote. Maybe. You're I walking mean, in the woods, coyote approaches you, what happens? I cry. D damn, <laughs> that's not good. I cry and I'm like, oh, this is the end for me. I want to raise, I want to, a show of hands, who here could beat a coyote in a fight? I'm liking these numbers. Why aren't you calling for them, Meg? Because I'd cry. What happened? <laughs> Let's get into this incident. What, what is the inciting, this is therapy now. What, ha what happened to you that you don't think you could beat a coyote in a fight? Um, I'm just a very sensitive person. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, Hypothetical, and... I'm a coyote right now. <laughs> strong like they're like they're pretty small yeah like come on they like, like nine. exactly they, they got four <laughs> paws i got two hands and two legs yeah like the worst they're gonna do they bite onto my arm boom yeah. that move all it needs yeah. yeah. nick can yes you be a chimp? can i be a chimp beat a chimp beat a chimp no dude chimp's got hands which animal could you guys beat in a fight what's the like the biggest a coyote coyote I don't know. A crane. Cri 
You know, oh, Carson, I know you. You could, you could throw hands. That's the biggest. I'll feed an elephant. Oh. What animal do you think I could take in a fight? What animal do I think you could take in a fight? Yeah. Well, coyotes are like max for sure. Like that is like. I will cry. That, that is, is like. A threat. Yeah. Okay. Why? I don't think. I don't. Why would you cry to coyote? Max for her or for all? Oh, for her. That's that's like where like the line. Yeah. That's because where the line is drawn for Meg, because we know that according to Meg, she couldn't beat a coyote. If it's running at me, I'm going to get scared and I'm going to cry. Just one coyote? Yeah. I'm going to start naming, okay, we're going to start naming yeah, animals yeah. from small to big, and we're going to see. So okay. let's start off with mouse. Obviously, I can take that in a fight. Hamster. Hamster. Well, I don't. Can, well, you can blink wrong at hamster, he'll die. So yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. The hamster will see you and just, like, okay. follow its hamster rules and f*** himself, because that's what they fight. do. Yeah. Step one. Grab it. Step two, put it in the microwave. <laughs> that, that is a way. Step three, put it on like 30 seconds. Step four, explodes. Have you, I'm trying to, to, I love reading stories about people and how they lost their hamsters because they're <laughs> always like. They never just like die. No, yeah, they know yeah. hamsters can't die peacefully. I think that they're just like, when you like are a bad person in life, you come back as a hamster and eventually have to like, <laughs> it's karma. <laughs> Where's the yeah. where's the video that Michael always shows me of <laughs> the first rat in space? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put that video in the background because it's so funny. <laughs> it's it, I feel like it has to be fake, but I don't think it is. What's, what's the biggest animal you Oh, I forgot we were we were on that question. I got distracted. Oh, yeah. oh wait, oh. so we were at hamster. You could be a hamster. Yeah. You, we, you could be a hamster. You guinea put pig. It in the microwave and it's done for. Guinea pig. Guinea pig? Slightly larger. I mean, it still is. I mean, anything is microwave. But I also love guinea pigs. But so it would have to have some sort of like. This guinea pig is morally fight. wrong. In he, what way? Like he, like he did some I need a scenario. He I need to feel. Like doesn't like trans thing. rights. Okay, yeah, he's going in the microwave. He's anti-Semitic. He's just he's a bad going person. going in the microwave. Okay, good. Okay. Let's see. What's bigger than a guinea pig? There's a lot of them. Okay. Chihuahua. It's going in the microwave. <laughs> you could fit... Okay, how big is a coyote? Because at that point, I feel like a coyote... Bigger than a freaking microwave. Are they? Yes! You have a, you have a I'm going to solve the Wordle. What's the Wordle Oh, my God. What's the Wordle day? I'm on a three-day streak. Remember when you couldn't get a... Uh, what was it, the Wordle the other day? I almost got it in one. It was almost stare. Oh. That was awesome. It's what so letters hard. go S-T-A, no, what words go S-T-A blank E? Because I did stare and I did stake. Stage? Stage. Stage. Let's see. Shout outs. Yeah. He's got my back. I said that I missed class earlier because I slept in. I didn't miss class because I slept in. I missed class because I was uh, playing Peggle on my phone. I missed class to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get donuts. Ooh. Good no, answer. let's talk about our birthday party that's coming up. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, Meg and I are born around the same time. My birthday is like this weekend. Meg's is in like three weeks. But uh, we were both going to have a birthday party. And Meg came up and was like, oh, I want to have a pirate-themed birthday party. Which works perfectly because I like One Piece, so now we're having oh, a joint yeah. pirate One Piece birthday party. We also dress up as pirates. Yes. Yes. Oh. Any person that is there will be a pirate, so and I if they to aren't, to I'm gonna cry. Okay, I also have this idea. Yes. Since it's a pirate party, you guys can steal each other's uh, birthday presents. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna rob you of everything you have. I'm literally just, gonna... just like a pirate. Like, the, yeah, like I'm not gonna steal. Like I'm gonna rob you of like your money, yeah. identity. <laughs> Can we have buried treasure? <laughs> Tell the house boys. Okay, we, uh, I'm gonna get a bucket of kinetic sand and just put like a nickel Yay! in it. <laughs> Yay! Just be like, whoever finds it gets to keep it. <laughs> oh my god. Baby sensory, baby Ooh. sensory, baby oh, yeah. sensory, cocoa melon. If cocoa you put melon? on a cocoa melon video, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna, if I hear the cocoa melon noise, the bit cocoa ends there melon. and I unplug my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I quit the show, I crop out. Oh yeah, what animal? What animal is yours? You didn't answer what animal you could fight. I thought you were gi giving me like. Animals. Oh, am I giving you animals? I thought that's what it was. Well, I was giving Meg animals because Meg couldn't come up with an answer. So, if you have an idea of the well, biggest yeah, animal you could like, fight, all right. So you already we already have coyote. All right, let's let's shoot up a lot higher. Let's go to wolf. 
Okay, so it's between coyote and wolf. I mean, if it's just dog. Depends on what kind of average size, like middle, like like not like a, like a, like a like Are we Rottweiler. Mm. One time I got oh, bit by a Pomeranian like, and it died Pomeranian. three days later. Decently smart dog. What about your, what happened? One time I got bit by a Pomeranian and it died three days later. That, mean, that means you're poisonous, right? Yeah, that means you're poisonous. No, you're venomous, okay, because it's venomous if it bites you and you die. But if you yeah. bite it and it dies, then yeah. it, you're poisonous. Yeah, so Meg is poisonous. I'm taking that fact to my grave. That you're poisonous or that you killed a Pomeranian? That I killed a Pomeranian. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that out of context. Okay. Meg kills dogs. You heard it here first. Nick, my, my dog yes. Would you kick a, pump, a puppy for a billion dollars? Yes! Yeah. Who would? A billion? Yeah. I would yes. do heinous acts for a billion dollars. Yes. <laughs> Week if you can't hurt the rabbit for a million dollars. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My favorite one. My favorite one is the tweet where it's like, "Would you slap your sibling for a billion dollars?" The the first. The first top. The first top uh, like quote tweet is just, uh, "Man, I would do that for like a large meal at Wendy's. Like I would. I would. They would you would not uh -oh. need to pay me at all." I think we probably have enough B-roll now. We've been filming for like a good like 20 minutes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna be playing the Newlyweds game next. You know, we like to have a little bit of fun around here. So, I hope you all enjoy. They're gonna be vague, but that's what makes them fun. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna start off uh, with a nice, simple question. So let's see, what's a good one on here? Let's go with a classic, okay? Favorite ice cream? <laughs> Hi, honey bunches. You know, we got ice cream before we got here. If you don't know, I'm gonna be mad. Ooh, you're being put on the spot. I'm sorry. Yeah, girl boss, honestly. But I was a girl boss. Can't we all be girl boss in this day and age? <coughs> Alright, so our answer is mustard ice cream. Elijah, what would you say your answer is? I just I couldn't believe you knew. That's awesome. Oh Thank my you gosh. Love you, sweetheart. Oh, you're so awesome. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. <laughs> 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 no crying, not allowed. All right. all the girl boss. So <laughs> we are all the girl boss deep inside. All right, so now we will swap on over and you know, we're gonna do the same question. We're gonna do it again. Favorite ice cream. What do you think Carson Zimbabwe Luke Zadroga would say? I got most of those names right. I have confidence. You have confidence in your spouse? You know, that's that's a good step. That's a good I first was step say for a marriage. Myself, but oh, okay. <laughs> you know, having confidence in yourself is good too. We're talking about girl bossing, so <laughs> Ooh, I thoughts. <laughs> um, this is laughter of happiness. How could you know my favorite flavor was, uh, uh, uh Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Uh, it's I, crazy they made that ice cream flavor. I love that flavor. I saw it on the dating profile. Ooh. Either way, that is a point for both of you. We are now at one point each. Good oh, job. Nice. See, we're a, we're a power couple. You know, and this is why we chose Vegas, actually. Vegas really? is the winner's uh, state. That is true. You know, 99% of gamblers quit it before they win big. You know, I did hear that, and that's why I'm bankrupt. <laughs> oh, I feel that. I'm also in large amounts of debt. Yeah. That's why I'm here. I, I, I don't usually host stuff. I, oh. I, they pull me off the street. Oh. oh. Well, what's your profession on the street? I can't say that. Okay, I'm reading between the lines. Well, it's <laughs> New Vegas. It's New Vegas. 
It's newer Vegas. Uh, yeah, they just opened a new one the up. The sequel of Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Vegas 2. Vegas 2. Yes. Vegas 2. <laughs> and with that, let's get on to our next <laughs> question. Hmm, let's see. Who is their celebrity crush? Ooh, a little spicy question, you know. This is the kind of one that makes the bedroom a little bit tense. Exactly, you know, some people. The Rock and Kevin Hart. Both of them. You know, that's pretty accurate, but I'm more of a Kevin Hart and The Rock kind of. Uh, Kevin Hart's the one with like the power in the relationship. Right. I feel that. I'm Sequence sorry. matters, I'm sorry. It was a good guess though. Yeah. We'll give you like a third of a point for that one. However, uh, for you, Elijah, we're going to go into a bit of a spicier question. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, where was Carson on June 28th, 1914? <laughs> um, 1914? 1914. 1914. <laughs> <laughs> I think Carson knows what happened on this day. <laughs> I wonder where he was. <laughs> this is like that other we had last night. <laughs> we don't talk about that day. Okay. All right, I think I know. Okay, let's see the answer. Oh, he was. He was gone. <laughs> he was gone. He was gone on the night of the date on that the, you said. Mm -hmm, you know, on uh, what, what was the date? June twenty eighth, nineteen fourteen. You know that that was close. But do you know where I was? Where'd you happen to be, Carson? <laughs> yes, I was in Who, Florida. You were, oh. oh, you were in Florida? And somewhere else. Do you happen to know what happened on June 28th, 1914? No, I have no that idea. That is the date. Uh, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was shot in starting World War I. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I knew that guy. You knew that guy? How'd you I know? I didn't like him very much. It would be a shame if something happened to him. <laughs> it would be a shame if someone went back in time and got him. <laughs> 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 I said that's so weird. <laughs> Let's move on to our next question. Yeah. Nothing, nobody would ever hurt the Archduke Franz yeah, Ferdinand. No, that's, that's He's it. still out there somewhere, it don't worry. Didn't uh, you've just robbed a bank, the two of you. Oh, Somebody's okay. got to be the getaway driver. Who's getting you out safely? Who's getting you to, okay. to the, to the safe house? Man. So, what's the cash prize like at the end of the show? I don't know how, how much have I got on me. This is an actual question. We're going to check my wallet. Oh, All right, let's see. Uh, Aren't you on the street? Well, not right now. Well, yeah, but like I, I got I got some cash on. I got uh, twenty one bucks oh. and a Sheets gift card. Okay, I got my answer. You got your answer? All right. So you're saying Elijah is the better driver? Oh wait. Oh, Sorry. you are the oh, better driver. Oh, okay. You know that's that's pretty true. Honestly. It's pretty true. I'm a super slow driver. Uh, yeah. can't outrun the cops if you're driving slow. No, no. <clears throat> Could definitely not walk them if I had to. Though. Oh, oh you're absolutely. To hit them. I can't hit the cops. You robbed the bank. I don't know why. Well, I have morals. The cops have families. The bank doesn't. I am here to speak on behalf of uh, witticism after hours. Don't commit crimes. Don't do it. It's illegal. Yeah, and you, against the law. They don't let you do that. Unless you have fun. Well, you can have a bit of fun. Yeah, as a treat. No, <laughs> as a treat. Cats can have a little salami. <laughs> As a treat. Yeah, dogs can have a little chocolate too. I don't know why that joke came back to my head. Like it was like it's like a laser. <laughs> all right, this nice. one's gonna be for our, all the marbles. Oh man, I gotta think of a really good question for this then. All right, this is gonna be the question uh, for you, Elijah. Do you think Carson could beat me in a fight? Off of what you know, I'm a wild card. <laughs> I bite. He's got ra Do you have rabies? I don't have rabies. Now I got my shots. I'm up to date. I'm, uh, <laughs> oh, you're changing your answer. That makes me worried. I guess rabies was the big change. Let's see your answer. Winner. <laughs> that, is that me? It's looking like I am the winner. It's not personal. I promise you. Here. I knew you wanted to get a divorce. I, I don't, you know, you're right. I did want to get a divorce and marry Kevin Hart the Rock. Oh. I'm, I'm chasing my dreams. You know what? Then I'm, I'm marrying Rock and Kevin Hart. You wouldn't. Yes, I would. I'm leaving. You, I, you know, he can have whatever it was that we won. I'm out of here. Nah, no, no, you can have it, man. No, he can have it. He, you can have yeah, it. Yeah, I can, can have, have it. it. I can <laughs> I won? Yeah, you did win. You won. <laughs> what did I win? $21 in a Sheets gift card. Let's go. Dude. I get to keep my wallet. Yeah.
<laughs> and the best part is, you're still homeless. That is true. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm fine. Yeah. You can live wherever you want. Yeah, exactly. I'm free. It's true. It's true. It's like uh, mobile homes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And with that, All right. thank you for joining us for round one of whatever the hell I called this show. We'll be back in just a second. And that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll be honest, uh, I don't remember what I said we were going to do in this episode, and I don't remember if we did any of it. So, you know, uh, they call me the king of lies. I lie a lot, and that's, you know, I like to keep on your toes. You don't know me. You don't know who I am. You don't know what I've done. I could do anything right now. Anything could happen. And that's what makes life so interesting. And with that little bit of information, with that little tidbit of knowledge, I'm going to leave you all. Thank you for joining us on this journey. And we'll see you next time. God bless America. You're gonna watch it anyway, because it's funny. I feel I can't I feel mean bullying because I know most of the people that are on the other side of this like camera who are watching this because I most of them are my friends. Trans? Trans? Oh, oh! I forgot the trans fade has the American flag in it. God bless America. Oh my Do that God. again. As someone without a bottomless pit for a brain, I... Can I yeah, that car. you. Oh, there's a big truck going by. This truck's actually pretty quiet, though. Shout out to that guy. Shout out to that good, quiet good, truck. Good truck owner. All right. All right. As someone without a bottomless pit for a brain right now, I can't help but feel like... Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. I'm away already! <laughs> lost it nothing in real time you saw me like have a, like a, an idea and it was gone you to the wind the and then you just, like, <laughs> it was just, I, I felt broken in that moment you don't know one Madonna I, actually if you like held a gun to my if you held out I don't know one Madonna song if you threatened me you threatened for any me. particular reason with right, any sort right. of weapon yeah. I got it it's so tempting to like look that way. Mm -hmm. like, you always like, just want to peek I know it's like I just want to go, no, that isn't the answer. No, <laughs> of course not. You know, yeah, no. it's funny. He's named a, uh, a band is named after him. Really? Yes. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> what band? Uh, Prince Ferdinand. Wait, really? That's a yes. band? Oh, oh. <laughs> Their number one hit song's pretty good. Their number one song is like, take me out. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's I can why see. I married him. Oh, he can sing. he's, he's yeah, got that he's voice. Cat. He's a real cat. <laughs>